Hey everyone, my name is Arika and you're watching yet another episode of Physics Hood. Okay, so I have a question for you. What's the fastest punch you've ever seen? I'll wait. And the winner is... The Mantis Shrimp! And I'm here for it. The Mantis Shrimps are these sweet creatures that punch in anger. Roughly about the speed of 50 miles per hour or an acceleration similar to a .22 caliber bullet. Scientists are so excited about these mantis shrimp punches because they're so fast that they create brief pulses of light and enormous heat. The heat about the surface of the sun. How on earth is that even possible? What actually happening here is sonoluminescence, that is the production of light from really high sound waves moving through fluid. The sound waves are so powerful that they excite a very low pressure area in a fluid, a cavitation bubble, which suddenly collapses into itself and you can see that bluish purple light. In case of mentorships, it's not actually sound, duh, but that impact also creates that pressure difference in water molecules just the same way sound does. Okay, so check out this clip. A bullet moving through ballistic gel. Whoa, you saw that? The bubble collapsed so quickly and produced light. Wait, let me show that again in slow-mo. So sonoluminescence was first seen by scientists Frenzel and Schultz. Schultz? Schultz. Schultz. They were actually working on ultrasonic sound waves on a marine sonar. In their experiment, they saw that these ultrasonic sound waves actually produce multiple bubbles forming, collapsing, and the flashes of light in the water. But their reason for this phenomenon was that it was frictional energy, which is not quite right. The true mechanism of this physics beauty still has not been yet resolved. Like, we don't have an exact reason why the collapsing cavitation bubble produces these flashes of light. It is hypothesized though that the molecules present in the collapsing bubble come so close together that the heat generated is enough to dissociate the bonds within a molecule. But as soon as the bubble expands again, the ions recombine and release energy. And that energy could be the light. Another thing which might influence this phenomenon is the presence of a noble gas like argon or neon which can help in the production of light. Although it is very unlikely to find these elements in water. Fun fact, the movie Chain Reaction starring Keanu Reeves and Morgan Freeman has shown the story of making large amounts of heat, not heat, energy, through sauna luminescence, making it totally irrelevant in real life because energy produced from this process is smaller than a speck as compared to powering a city. Even today, this phenomenon is still under active research although scientists do suggest some of its uses. Like how sonoluminescence can help in photodynamic therapy, which is essentially killing of cancer cells by light-sensitive drugs. It can provide the harmless way to generate light inside a human body, which can help in activating those drugs and eventually killing those cells. Even in the experiments conducted by Frenzel and Scholz, they were initially using ultrasonic sound waves in order to clean the surface of a photographic plate. This could be useful in industrial processes. Well, that's all I've got for today. And I think these seemingly small discoveries should be appreciated more. Also, I want to thank you for watching me talk about a phenomenon I got intrigued with. You could also subscribe me here. And if you want more physics mysteries like these, then I'll see you later.